Hello, it's Ginger. Hi, it's Bruce. We are back again. Today, we are going to talk about Korean cars in America. We actually do have Korean cars. I drive Kia Optima. Yeah, you get the nice family car. I got a <laughs> Hyundai Elantra. A little commuter car helps me get to do my job. Well, I drive with kids, so, you know, I should drive a better car. That's why I give you the family car. Aww. And so far, we've been very happy about our cars. I understand that they do a better job with the export cars than the domestic cars for Hyundai and Kia. Well, that's what I heard. Well, I actually didn't really drive in Korea, uh, but I have heard horror stories from people that how bad Hyundai and Kia, the company, uh, can be. Yeah, I actually really liked the Kia Forte when I was in Korea. We, that's what we usually drove. Rental car? Yeah. They don't actually don't have an Elantra in Korea. You have the Avante. Avante. And yeah. then Kia Optima is K5. Yes. Different and name. It took me a while. And then the Hyundai Grandeur is the Hyundai Azira. Yes. Here. Yeah. So we mm -hmm. have different names in America. Mm -hmm. mm, but like overall, Hyundai and Kia cars have very good images. Agreed. I got so tired of riding in the Hyundai Sonata taxi cab in <laughs> Korea. And then my brother said to me that he rented a Hyundai Sonata and he fell in love with it. I'm like, are, you, are we talking about the same car? But apparently the export was so much nicer and luxurious than the domestic made brand. Mm -hmm. So I think there are different standards. I feel like the standard in Korea is lower mm -hmm. compared to America. You can appeal to the public in Korea by saying it's your patriotic duty to buy domestic. And then they can get away with anything they want to make. Not necessarily. Nowadays, a lot of Korean people prefer imported cars. If only they all had the money for it. <laughs> mm, it's not so bad, I heard. But in America, we're competing with a very wide market of import cars. So in order to compete, you have to offer a lot of luxury. Otherwise, you're going to compete with BMW, Mercedes, anything from Germany in, in, in general. We do have those cars too, mm -hmm. but they are very expensive because high tax. Um, we have a lot of recall issues in Korea that people found some issues mm -hmm. that are threatening like people's safety. And then they like make claims to companies and then they just ignore it and don't answer. But like in America, it was like a few years ago, Hyundai sent me a letter that says, oh, there's a recall. This small part had issues. So we are going to replace it. So call us or call like a... The local Hyundai dealership. Mm -hmm. And we will replace it. But it was just a really like minor part. So I didn't think it was necessary. So I ignored it. But that kind of thing will never happen in Korea. Even the major issues, the company tried to cover it up. Don't you think this video might end up pissing people off because you're comparing? But it's true, right? The truth isn't always what, you, what people <laughs> want to hear. Okay. So companies cannot get away with those issues here in America. They have to take it very seriously. I want to say 2010, there was an incident with Japanese import cars. The uh, Toyotas would suddenly, their brakes would stop working while you're going down the street. <laughs> And so, and we even made a funny slogan, once you drive a Toyota, you can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> because that happened, all the companies have to take every little recall seriously. I guarantee you, if they could get away with not doing a recall, they would. But the cost of doing the recall versus the cost of a lawsuit, this is cheaper, so that's why American companies do all the little recalls. So they do it just in case. Just in case because they don't want to deal with a lawsuit. We sue everybody. So we see a lot of Hyundai Kia cars all over. 
yeah, like in parking lots or on the street. In the Han days. Yeah, a lot of people buy Korean cars. Even our relatives in America, right? Yeah, my uh, my grandfather is a very big fan of Kia. Mm -hmm, the yeah. Kia Vans, the Sedona, mm -hmm. and uh, the Kia Rio. They like the Kia brand. Yeah, a lot of people tell me good thing about Korean cars is cost effective, mm -hmm. good gas mileage. The auto mechanics will say if your Hyundai has uh, 200,000 miles on it, oh, it's just a baby car still. I'm like, if you put 100,000 miles on a Chevy, you'd better start thinking about a new car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, American cars, they actually have kind of bad image. They're not built to last. Mm -hmm. Build a car to last, and why would you buy a new one? Yeah, well, but Korean cars and Japanese cars, they are known for long last. Actually, you can keep them forever if you take care of them well. Yeah, and they're relatively easy to work on too. And not expensive. Mm -hmm. So here in America, Korean cars are good. People love Korean cars. Kia, Hyundai. Mm -hmm. Even though they don't say the name right. Hyundai. Hyundai. <laughs> Hyundai. 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 If you enjoy this video, click like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell. Bye. Bye. Don't lower your standards just to keep someone. 누군가를 단지 곁에 두고 싶어서 당신의 기준을 낮추지 마라. If they are not making you happy. 만약 그 사람이 당신을 행복하지 않게 만든다면 말이다. 작자 이상.